Hello everyone, Nerdlin here, and today we're having a look at Total War Warhammer 2. It's been a very, very long time since I last showed off this game. Back when there was um, very few legendary lords left uh, that were in the pool. Before, um, I believe it was before Vampire Coasts and Tomb Kings. I oh, know, before Vampire Coasts, but um, after Tomb Kings. Back when um, Grom the Paunch, um, Rapunz de Leonese, Wolf Marcus Wolfhart, and so many others joined us in this game. And I must say, my skills in this game have quadrupled in ability. But it's time to actually show it off with one of my favourite Skaven, yes, yes, Clan Scryer's Ikit Claw. I'm doing this on the Mortal Empires map on Legendary Difficulty because uh, Clan Scryer is probably one of the easiest campaigns, in my opinion, if you know what you're doing. Once you, have a good, once you get a good start, you, there's nothing that can stop you. Mainly because as Clan Scryer, you also get the... Um, the Clan Scryer uh, workshop, which gives uh, you a little bit extra um, campaign stuff to do, which I always, I always enjoy doing. I see it as a little mini quest to do, which requires a lot of um, time and energy to perfect, and can really help with um, conquering the world. Now, this video isn't meant to be a start to a campaign. It can be, but currently it's just a um, just having a look at Total Warhammer and seeing if people actually enjoy the content. If not, then I I might come back to it every once in a while, starting a different campaign. But it won't be something that's set in stone that will always happen every now and now and again. But currently, my main focus is doing the Divide and Conquer campaign for Erid Lewin. I'm hoping it. Uh, slow, steadily picks up in um, in viewer rates and such. Once it's um, seen more often on the channel, it should hope hopefully things might pick up. But for now, I'm just um, experimenting through different games. It's like I'm gonna have to do. I'm likely gonna do this once a week. In between Divine Con campaign, my Divine Con campaign, I'm going to um, go over to a different game. Current, as, as I said today, it's Total Warhammer. Tomorrow, or in a week's time, as it, as you'd probably say, is going to be maybe Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War. Um, I've got quite a few games that I have yet to show on the channel, which I think could actually do really well if I put the right amount of time and effort into them. But obviously, some games are better in other situations. Some YouTubers doing better, etc., etc. I'm just saying dialogue. So I, until this loading screen's finished. It always takes a while for me. Also, because it's a legendary difficulty, some things get slowed down in the process. Okay, we ready? Are we ready? Can we get into it? Let me in, let me in. Beautiful Skaven face, yes, yes. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I always hated the lo loading screens in this game because it always takes so long. Especially when reco recording, back when I did it. It was so boring w w watching these loading screens. Come on now. Come on. Some things never change, eh? Some things never change. Supreme okay. Warlock Master. Sorry, advisor, but I have no love of you ever since I found out what you uh, what you do when you play the Chaos Campaign. So, the Skaven. We start in Skaven Blight, which, in the lore, is. Um, the greatest hub and center of Skavendom on in the old world, new world, and everywhere else. If I'm not mistaken, it used to be a human-occupied city. That um, obviously, because it lives, it's close to the dwarven strongholds. It um, a strange hooded figure came one day, 
erect, uh, helping build a great tower, which placed a bell on top. And then plagues of different descriptions started um, appearing, causing miasmas of death and decay to erupt around the city. And then the humans tried to aid, get aid from the dwarves. Then the dwarves were also found to be killed by Skaven. And that's how the Skaven began. Chief Warlock, Ickit Claw. That's long ago, and this is now. Today we are Chief Warlock, Ickit Claw. Power. That shall move, move. And let's begin. Skaven Blight is one of, is one one of the two big Skaven settlements, so it has one of the biggest ranges of um, buildings available in the, in the game. Others being the Wood Elven territories. More warp stone. Now, now. Mm. Let's begin mm. with the obvious target, the one that's closest to us, Tabaro. Hmm. But really think it's even, even, eh? This okay. Let's prove you no wrong. Contest. Let's prove you wrong, game. I know for a fact I'm going to win this with no trouble whatsoever. Because we we have with us some of our best units, the Wall Warplock Jezails. High range, good, really good damage, on par with I'd say the ballistas of uh, Medieval Two, but more accurate, more powerful, and more numerous. And we also have the um, the aptly named um, rattling guns, which are, as you could guess, machine uh, mini guns, which bring out a great torrent of Warpstone, which is the main thing of Skavendom, and most importantly Panscry, because they make their weapon out of Warpstone. Well, their ammunition in particular. And sometimes armour, and flamethrowers, and a staff, halberd kind of weapon. And sometimes they eat it, mainly the um, Graciers. Yeah, Clan Scryer has a has the workshop, but also has a another special thing you can get called the Warp Storm Doom Rockets, which is pro probably the most aptly named um, uh, power in the game, and it's probably the best in the game as well. But it's only available for Clan Scryer. It is not a Skaven theme. It is only Clan Scryer. So if I'll play it start as this with, um, let's say, Clan, Clan Pestilence with Lord Scroll, I would not get this Doom Rocket or the Engineers. I'd instead have um, different things. Because each, each faction, even though they're the same race, has different starting powers, which means that there's even more replayability than most than in most um, games, in my opinion. That's why that's, that's why I, I really like um, Turbo Warhammer. Also because of magic. Magic, no, no matter what, what the game is, or whatever kind of magic it, it is, I will always like it. Look at those Jezails sniping those four men. Even with shields, they stand no chance. Have a look at them. Where is it? Yeah, we think. Okay, yeah. And then, look at the front line. Our Warlock Engineer. And then, on the other side, if I can find him. Ikit Claw. He is not afraid. Don't give them an inch. Okay, gotta get back into it now. Warp lightning. And um, if this was, was to become a campaign, I would um, attempt to uh, get Ticket Claw to have. The ability to use warp lightning almost every few sec um, at a very short cooldown and at a very short small winds of magic cost. I believe you can get it to a, a minimum of one winds of magic cost and a I believe 15 second or even less than that timer. And look at that, victory is already ours. Let's get um, Bale Quint Mosqueak out of there. Very happy. And we also have our Doom Flayers. The 
mini party balls for the rats. Now, I could just end the battle, but let's have a look at these doomflies charging for a bit. Let's race over them with those nice, um, slicey death devices. And a decisive victory indeed. No casualties, just as expected. Excellent. Having rattling guns and war, war block jezails are extremely valuable in the beginning of the game. And are even more so when you have them in um, future, but in even more battalions working together. Oh, there's a sight to behold. Especially on the open field, because in, in an ambush, which Skaven can do more often than, than others, because, oh, even tells you about ambush battles, you get to. Um, Strike your enemies before they even notice you. You get everything in position. Get your you get all your rattling guns lined up, and you just fire. And oh, it is beautiful. Meat for the grinder, or in our case, meat for our stomachs, because Skaven like to eat anything and everything, even their own kind, because they do not care. So Skaven, life is cheap. And even more so for Ikit Claw, who needs more test device, who needs more um, slaves for his test devices. I typically, don't do too many um, non-auto-resolved battles um, when you get to the mid, mid game. But in the early game, it is good to do those um, starting battles, especially when the balance of power is not in your favour. Because if then, if you auto-resolve, you could lose half your army. When in the end, you just take zero damage what's the point in just taking unnecessary amounts of damage eh Henry Weaver you failed now the load screen is cursing me again god damn it it's probably been 10 minutes yeah we'll get plenty of battles in soon but another thing you need to do with Clan Scryer is level up a particular Lord type called a Warlock Engine, uh, Warlock Master. Because once you get into a certain level, you can unlock more um, powers in the, um, the laboratory. Uh, the Warpstone Forge, whatever it's called. I'll figure out what his actual name is soon. And with, from certain victories with, with Clan Scry, you can get some warp fuel, which means you can get more um, upgrades in that um, in the forge. In, 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 in the Forbidden Workshop, I think that's what it's called. The Forbidden Workshop. That would make sense. Let's find out. Come on. Come on, I'm sick of talking. I'm actually getting a bit bored of waiting now. Come on. Come on, uh, there we go. Mass murder now. Questions yeah. later. Let's just sack for now. Something to so, something you should know when you're playing on legendary difficulty is to expand is to fail in the beginning of the game. You, if you see a settlement that's not part of your uh, starting province, um, I re I would recommend you don't in you don't immediately take the settlement. Instead, if it's close to your victory. own border, so you can heal your troops, use it as a sack city. Don't bother with um, taking it immediately, because then you miss out on experience. Because experience for your generals is very important. And in fact, yeah, I'm going to rush to get um, this ability, the second wind serum. Which allows Ikit Claw to get extra healing and melee defense when ever casting a spell. No malice and then detected. we're gonna get standardized firing drill, which means we can get means our range units are more powerful thanks to the Warlock Engineer. Chief Warlock, Ikit and it's even a cheap, so we can get a new general. We'll get the cunning general. Success chance with ambushing, like I already Master said, Engineer. is the main thing you want with Skaven. I'm going to get some Skaven Slaves, because look at that upkeep cost. It's so cheap. You can get so many of them. And also, Commandments, we're going to make buildings cost less and have extra growth no for a while. Like and let's end the turn. Yes. 
Now, the end turns shouldn't be as long as they were in the past. Because they've definitely managed to uh, make some changes to the Mortal Empire's turn time, making them super fast compared to when we did them ages and ages and ages ago. And yeah, we can start getting some really good experience when they throw their generals out of the city like this. Because, as I mentioned, we, um, we're scored at ambushers, and if we ambush an enemy, they don't get their extra reinforcements. So we can already use the dominating scheme, which is one of our four commandments, right, commandments which could use a lot of growth, food, and public order, but the cost on resources is a bit too um, expensive right now. 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 So for now, let's not bother with that. Let's just get... Gara Ring Wrench. What's his chance of ambush? Right now, 55%. And Ikit, what's your Stay chance? The greatest, the best inventor. Oh, didn't want to do that. Also, 55%. Progress, yes. Move him a little bit closer. Don't cross wires. And then let's attack this poor lord. Of a settlement, do we get an ambush? Oh, we don't. Either way, auto resolve is. Advisable. Easy victory. We are going. Something to learn about. Something important again to learn about um, Skaven is the food mechanic. Um, because as I mentioned, Skaven are big eaters. They eat everything. So if you don't have enough food, you can fall behind. And that's shown by here. You can spend food to um, upgrade your settlements. When you first get them, let's get that potion of healing to kick it. Not our new warlock master. Only, only Ike has the right to have such nice uh, antiquities. Yes, Stephen yes. Light, here's my my Now come into raiding stance. We get even more food. Clan Scryer. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not close enough to get any new recruits. No, oh, that's, that, that's a shame. I'm gonna lose out on a turn of recruits. Oh well. We can now start going for our technology. And as you can see, Skavens are a bit um, all, 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 all over the place. you got some here, some here, and some here. And you kind of just need to go all around. And sometimes you can go all the way to the end of one area and not even start in one. It's very, um, again, very all over the place. Not very um, uniform. Which is what the Skaven are. They have biometric infusers. And... Engineer. Of <laughs> My ammunition for the army is pretty good. So yeah, I'll get that. I'll get arms dealer. And then, oh yeah, forbidden workshop. The forbidden Lim's workshop Lim's contains. Shush, advisor. So with this, we can use our warp fuel and our food to get certain upgrades for our units. The best upgrades to get would be, well, firstly, the onboard waste compactor. So all our warp, um, rattling guns can replenish plenty of their ammo, which means they'll never run out of ammunition. Which makes them really good. But as you can see, we're now it only already down to three warp ah, fuels. So we can't ah, make any more Doom Rockets. And we also need to get to the different levels of the Forbidden Workshop. Firstly, we're at the Technician's Grotto. We need to kill a thousand enemies in battle. Um, build the Warpstone Tractor Beam, which is the second version of um, the main building at Skaven Blight. And use a Doom Rocket in battle. That'll give us extra tr uh, money to our treasury each time we complete one of those tasks. And yeah, we need to build the Warpstone Tractor Beam. And then we can also get some of our best units, the Rattling Guns and the Jezails. If we get if we get to that point before the end, I'll be surprised because it is quite difficult to get to. But we're also going to start going through revolts from Skaven Blight. But unlike in Medieval 2, when it instantly just takes a city... You actually get to fight it out in the field, and it's actually a difficult enemy to face. In fact, before I forget, I should actually be sacking Tabaro, because otherwise, the beastmen over there are going to just raise it. And I don't want that, because that means I lose my sack city. And I lose, my, I lose my, the extra gold and money I could be making from it. 
So let's end the turn again. And this is basically how you start a Clan Scry campaign if you don't want to um, be rushing out to take your second province. Because the men of the Empire of Telia, not Telia, Estalia, are um, they aren't exactly pushovers. And currently, you are a very weak. You still have a very weak start. Having a level one or two lord by the time you get to um, your first major city is not the way you go about it in legendary difficulty. Medium to hard difficulty, yes. But when you're doing legendary difficulty, where where the AI do not pull their punches. You cannot just stand aside and let your enemy just uh, roll over you. So this time, the enemy's managed to escape. So again, our ambush has failed. Regardless, we shall take Tabaro. And sack it again. Scamper well done, Ikit. If you're wondering what those these little um, break sites, because of legend in legendary difficulty, the game My constantly saves because you don't get to save best. it yourself. Ikit claw. Yes. <laughs> Let's just have Ikit take this guy. I need my other guy. I need my other lord to start get uh, making more Skaven slaves. Now I've got an ambush, and he's dead. He got zap zap. Now, 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 now. Let's go. My we still raid? Yes, we can, which means get more food. So, yeah, I've ne ne never shared the food with the So, you, when you get to a certain level, if you are if you haven't got much food, you can see the penalties are insane. You do never want you never want to be on this this low of um, food, Fight unless you've just built a settlement you up to die, tier 5. The low f food shortage, yeah, you, 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 you will find you get to this point more often than not when you're um, leveling up a settlement up to level 3. Normal food storage is good. Good food supplies um, is always good good as well. Extra, the gro growth in Total Warhammer 2 is one of the most important things. Public order on le legendary difficulty is important when you're not trying to farm revolts. But in this case, that's what, exactly what we're trying to do. We're waiting until Skaven Blight guess it's first revolt, then we're going to take Tabaro, and then just start farming revolts back, back, and over, back and forth, back and forth. And as you can see, there are a large array of different things and uh, different powers and abilities that give every lord a unique um, upgrade in some capacity. For, for those who don't actually know, the blue line is your campaign skills. If you're planning to win battles, then this line often won't help you. There are some uh, factions that do have things, like Skaven, you can get extra ambush success chance, which will help you win battles, because if you start in an ambush, you're always going to be stronger. The red line, or the central line, is your um, army improvements, that also give uh, leadership buffs and um, eventually defense buffs, but also gives massive bonuses to your troops. In the beginning... In this first line, you can get up to three tiers, which each just enhance a certain specific uh, unit class. But then later, the, your more experienced troops will get these upgrades, which makes some units incredibly powerful or difficult to kill. And then finally, you've got the the, ye the re yellow tree, and um, ye yellow trees sometimes when you've got magic, and then the special tree, which is uh, specific to every. Um, specific lord so for example if i was to get a different kind of lord like a warlord he wouldn't have a warlord would not have this line of powers he would have something else same with all same same with every lord of every faction they all have some Bad special like um content. actually no tell a lie only factions from total warhammer 2 not starting from warhammer 1 have special um I win. upgrades that certain lords don't have but in that same faction. Get some more Skaven slaves. And again, legendary difficulty now, now. also improve, increases your um, upkeep costs for different units. Same as um, going from hard to very hard or very hard to legendary. Upkeep costs will increase. Is never See? <laughs> so yeah, you always got to be looking for the right things to go for. 
happening. Yep, we've now got second wind serum. Ikit Claw is now almost invincible on the in the bas in a battle. From his massive missile strength Light, here's my to my his massive name. armor stats and his magic, he is a force to be reckoned with. And let us carry on. Still got I wanna do this for at least another hour. Whether we get that far, I don't know. Depends if I get bored. But I might decide once we've taken out um, Miragliano. Not Miragliano. Um, Estalia's capital. We might call it a day there. So we'll get some good uh, small battles. A few um, rebellions. And then the major settlement battle. Transcribe. But after that I think I'll call it a day. I don't, I don't want this to go on for too long. Greatest, best inventor. <laughs> Again, arms dealer. Once we actually get a trade partner or two, this does actually give us some extra money as well. But you know, Skaven are one of the factions that aren't a, tr aren't a tradey um, faction. So you typically don't. You typically will never build um, buildings for. You never typically get trade partners. And yep, yeah, just want to do the so same again. Auto resolve. Sack for the casualty replenishment rate. We've now got a skill. It's always good. Having just any, even a small skill can help. Engineer. Let's have the man king slave. Do we have a second man king slave we can give to. Like an art, second artifact hunter. And a man king slave we can give to Garur Ring Wrench. And if this does get enough. Good attention and um, lights. If you want me to name a certain character a certain way, such as this Warlock Master, just ask, and I might consider. I might consider it. Get the rubbish pit. And what else do we need? Don't want public order yet. I think we'll just have to hold on to that other slot for now. There's not really anything else we'll get. Oh, we could get the hi the hidden lair, so we could get an assassin, another another special hero for Skaven. We're only we're only five turns away from growing again. I could increase that even further. So an extra forty a turn. Currently, seventy four a turn. Smartest warlock. So I need another three hundred sixty. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna activate the dominating scheme, so we get more food. So we're closer to getting um, the bigger boost Fight of um, plentiful food. You die, die, see? Also, these troops are cheaper. Now only 94 a pop, and yeah, just we just better. Rat marcher. Obviously, it did cost us a good amount of money, but the public order and the growth... It, well, the growth is more important than the public order. I don't really care what's given like revolts. Because eventually, we'll take Tabaro for our own. And unlike other factions, as I said, Skaven can level up, can decide what level a settlement will start at when they claim it. They don't, they don't just occupy a settlement that's at tier 5, and then goes down to tier 4, and then you level it up again. It's... For Skaven is, you always start at level 1, and you need to pay more food to build it up. Because you're not building the settlement up on, in the ground, from the ground up, you're building it from the ground down. So Skaven are the under, the under Empire. The which eventually, we'll actually see the under, under Empire mechanic in play. Where are my schematics? But for now, let's just keep leveling up Ikit Claw. That will, that, that will give us victory. Now, I don't expect um, the humans to wait forever. They will eventually come for us. It'd be stupid for them not to. But by that time, we should have a full stack of Skaven Slaves. Led by our esteemed Warlock Master. Warlock ready. Because of the technology I've purchased, or well, technology I've researched even, we can get even more Skaven Slaves a turn. And we don't really need Skaven Slave Slingers, because yeah, they're a ranged unit, but look at those stats. 
nine missile damage. Compare that to a rattling gun. Oh, that, that, to be fair, don't, don't, don't compare it to the rattling gun. That's per second. And they do a lot. Compare it to the Jezails. It's 38. Yes, yeah, yes. always get ancient cunning with the Skaven. You want to be Science. battling. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna say there. You want to be. You always want to be fighting uh, ambush battles. You don't want to be ever fighting in the field where your opponent can get a good view of where you are and know what you're going to do. Uh, I'm gonna get. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We need to need some money now because once we get this to tier three, we need to get this. We need to get all. We need to get the Hox Cauldron and the Construction ca uh, Cavern, and we also need to get the Arcane Generators. There's a lot of things to build at tier three for the Skaven, and Skaven Blight allows us to build them all. Hot dog. So since I can't think of anything else to really talk about, um, might as well mention, if this was to become a fully-fledged campaign, the goals would be to follow, well, for now, to follow the um, the victory conditions of Clan Scryer, which is, I believe, all the lands you corrupt, or all, all the lands you take, you, they need a, a large amount of your ca uh, Skaven corruption. You need to... Um, Take a certain amount of regions and give them skin and corruption. We've now got the thirteenth scheme, which is gives us diplom diplomatic relations. Lords get a chance of loyalty, action success chance, and we also get the Scryer Clanstone, which makes all magic damage even more effective. Skyrim which, by the way, best is not really um, doesn't affect your uh, weapons teams. Luckily, get some ancient cunning with. Icket Claw. Of Skaven Blood. I must say, having Icket this level already, le level 7 at turn 6 is a massive advantage for us. Already Icket now, even though before he was really That's powerful, now. now he's starting to exceed Daddy that Paul. level of power. And in fact, how many troops do he have left in me? Four? Let's send Icket back so we can heal it. Our Warlock Engineer needs a bit of healing. Master Engineer. And have, Gare and have Gara to sit down because the, the army size Sorcery. you have means you can get more troops. Knows who his boss is. Get even more movement speed. And in two turns, we will have the revolt in Skaven Blight. So next turn, we'll be taking Tobaro. Here's my, my name. Now, what are we getting? Driven by Hunger, which gives us extra income from post-battle loot. I want Skaven Slaves to be cheaper. So I'm going to get the Devious Plan first. And I'm no, going to keep these Plan Rats for now, but I don't, expect, I don't expect to keep them for much longer. And next turn, we can level up Skaven Blight to the Warren. Although we do also need some money. Yeah, spending that 3,000 might have been a bit too much in the beginning. It might have been a bit too much. At the same time, we do currently have two armies on the field, growing in strength, with a very powerful lord at one, and the other another very decent lord. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Hello there, Estalia. I didn't know. I didn't think I would see you there already. And taking an ambush stance as well. Well, this should be fun. This should be very, very fun. Okay, let's get into it. Game of Light's got an imminent rebellion. Can't waste any more time. Best inventor. Time we take Tabaro. They will die, die. But don't worry, Gara. You won't be alone. You won't be alone. Chubata. Have Ikit Claw join Engineer him. Of and look at that auto resolve change. Double the army, double the power. Double the power. Auto resolve. And now, Take for can, as I said, we can keep it at settlement level one. We can get it maybe settlement level two or three. New warp forge is here. Now I want to make this level three because it's important to warp have a second region of big uh, importance and power, but also so we can get the 
fortifi fortified entries quicker so we can get the warp bomb power. Once we have the warp bomb, any enemy that dares set foot in near in Tabaro's region, we'll get a, a, a get we'll have a power sorcery. that allows us to use um as I say a doomsday device kind of weapon. No devastation like it gets devastation. Yes, yes. yes. This should work. Ancient cunning even further increases to our ambush no success chance. Detected. And let's get triangulations. Even Sorcerer. more ancient cunning, because why not? And Gara, you can get the last of your escaping slaves. Now let's finish off driven by hunger. And then we should probably go for numbers beyond counting for even more for more money per turn. What your back is skilled like Warren. Also gives us an extra 125 and extra campaign movement range while in Skaven's Light. Also, Skaven Light finally gets a very decent and efficient. Um, what's the word? Very decent and efficient um, garrison, that's it. Victory. Also, get. Do we want the Rattling Warrens here? Uh. I mean, we can't use the growth right now, but it is it is good to get that growth built up for when we do take um, uh, whatever the region's called. Why is it called? Esta uh, Magritta. Once we take Magritta, it will help us take even more from... It will mean we can level up our settlements quicker if we don't all instantly level them up to level 3. As a Skaven, you just have slow and steady progression, and here comes the second battle. Our army was spotted by the enemy before it could spring an ambush. I think it's time we say hello. Let's engage the enemy. Or should we? Actually, no. If we don't, if we don't spring the ambush, that means they won't have to do... Uh, no, let's do it. Let's show off the warp stone no doom rockets. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of some pesky man-things. It's time to test our doom devices. Yes, yes. Perfect test subjects. The battlefield, however, I must admit, could be a little bit better. Hmm. What to do, what to do. What are we going to do with you? What are we going to do with you? I don't know how our ambush failed either. Oh well, I'll whip a few I'll, I'll whip a few slaves for their incompetence. Because it can't be my fault. No, no, it can't be my fault. Either way, their crossbows are the main threat. Keep them off our weapons teams. Shoot down the pistoliers, and their infantry will not exist. Soon, anyway. They won't exist soon. So, let's set up here. Have a look at these. Battling guns. Yes, 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 yes. Now, we don't want to spread out because that's not good with the Skaven. These Skaven slaves have very low leadership. And that's, and that's mainly because of um, legendary difficulty. So, we're going to make them into a horde. A blob, if you would. If you would. We're going to move them forward. Okay, you can move forward. Mosk Week, you stay back. You can you encourage our troops, so you've got some value staying near us, staying in the centre. And our Doom players will go off to the side to take out their crossbows. In come the pistoliers. So there's Doom. Come on now. That's one kill. If it you fire two. Ah, oh, they interrupted him. But he got two kills. 
Oh, they're shooting the kit. Use our brass orb. And let's consider where we can put the doom rocket. Now, if it does heal never we cast a spell because of his um, second wind serum. Keep those doom flares moving. Find their targets. Optics in sight. Move, run! Warp lightning! Shoot them down, it hits. Ah, oh, he's getting shot. Yes, yes, yes! Curse with death. Now, we're not going to get the perfect Doom Rocket off here, but I do want to use it because it gives us more money. Scattered before the warp lining could get them. They could get out. Charge them there. Oh, you ch you went into the wrong neighborhood. Move out the way. My rattling guns need perfect range. Oh, 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 oh dear, oh dear. That was close. That was close. Ikit, how you doing? Ah, uh, they're all scattering. Gazales, they're in your sight. Shoot them. I might not use the Doom Rocket after all, then. No, not, there's no good targets. I'm not wasting it. Healing. Oh, this could be a good target. Slaves out. Here we go. Wasn't that beautiful? And look at that beautiful mushroom cloud. Well, it wasn't really a mushroom. But yeah, look at that. That is how you set up a deadly explosive. Press the button, Gronk. Oh, poor. Poor, poor, poor. That was a bad. Good job, rattling guns. Go to the side, shoot down the swordsmen. See, easy. Easy battle. The auto resolve greatly. Um, um, what's the word? Underestimate scaven slaves. They think they're poor and that they deserve. Well, yeah, they kind of they kind of are bad. But the thing is, that's the point. They're meant to be bad. If they were if they were meant to be good, they would be worth them. They would be um, very expensive. What's the point of having expensive units when you have um, limited resources? Go for cheap units that do just as well, and then just zap everything down with your lord. This is this something you could, um, I call the. Um, the vampire mentality. You um, view everything else around you as useless, and only you yourself are worth valuing in the army. Obviously, in most other situations, you'll find the Lord isn't the only important thing, and sometimes the army is important. But in the early game of the Skaven, your army does not matter. Once you start getting the weapons team built up in vast numbers, then, and only then, is the army worth considering more than the Lord? Sometimes it works both ways, and the Skaven I say are the perfect synergy. They have some of the best armies in the game currently, with their weapons teams and uh, siege engines. Let's get as many of these as possible, because we won't finish all of these off instantly. They will get it. They will be um, back. We will have to strike them again, and likely it won't be an easy auto resolve. It could be. With, with our second army as well. But here, Ikit Claw has proven, even with a small army, against an, another army is ex in the exact same size as his, with proper strategy and um, a Doom Rocket, you can win anything. Watch these Doom Flayers do their work. Their glorious, glorious work. 
And we even wounded the enemy lord, which was their legendary lord. Or their faction leader, even not legendary lord. Just their faction leader. Okay, I think we got enough uh, test subjects. A close victory, perhaps. But in the, at the end of the day, who won? And look at look at that. The Jezels and the Rattling Guns do both doing an exact same job. They don't want to outclass each other. Because they both know they're perfect. The way they are. But they could be better. I, I can always empower them even further. Because I'm Ickit Claw. The lip for me, there is no limits. Drag dragging a moon down into the earth, that's the limit. Because then because there's literally no, no other achievement that can surpass such an achievement. Okay, we'll give it... Still got 45 minutes. I think. I've forgotten how long I've been doing this for. I've been trying to keep an eye, an eye out on the time, but i kind of already forgotten how long I've been doing this. It feels like it's been 40 minutes. So about halfway through. But yeah, once we've taken Magritta, I think we'll call it an end there. Although, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe when I get close to taking Magritta, maybe gives, maybe it'll give you something to um, want to watch more of this. Yeah, that'll work. I'm just talking my plan through in my head because that's the best way. That's the, that's the way I do it. I don't, I don't typically keep quiet on good news. And yeah, you can see Skaven slaves. Zero, 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 ones. Clan rats, 22 kills, but still not anywhere compared to the weapons teams. So I'm going to eventually get rid of these clan rats once the army gets big enough. Because these cost five times more than the Skaven slaves. And honestly, they did no, they did very, no, di they did no different than the Skaven slaves. They're just meat shields. They're expendable meat shields, and it doesn't matter if they live or die. They just they're just there to live. They're there to live and hopefully live long enough that they won't die. That's enough out of that. Should be at the end of this soon. But yeah, we we completely destroyed three units of swordsmen. With that Doom Rocket. Yeah, that might not sound like much. But in the early game, when the odds were quite evenly stacked against us. If I didn't use that Doom Rocket then, then on that perfect opportunity, I do think I could have lost that. Or at least it would have been a victory that was um, so hardly won that it wouldn't be worth winning. If you get what I mean. A victory has got to be worth winning. Otherwise, the next battle won't be prepared. Won't be um, done right. Flesh, the best we need our food supplies back up. And off they go again. Coward. Cowardly things. Easy prey. Cower before cheap Keep warlock Ickitlar. No fair. And now with another war, the men of Telia have decided to come up against us. But I'm not afraid. Ickit Claw is not afraid. He's just found himself some more new test subjects. The men of Telia will fall as, men as easily as the men of Estalia. But first... Good for weapons oh, oh, oh dear, I did not see that one coming. I did not think they would bring a full stack already. Okay. We have the Scheme of Doom! Which means we can get our... Special Warlock Engineer, which can make... Um... Workshops. And, um... Forget what the other thing is. But something that's just as good. Master Engineer! Now then. <laughs> Chief Warlock, Ikit Claw. I can't attack everything. So I'm gonna have Ikit go here. Travel now now! I'm gonna have Ring Wrench. Prepare the attack against Luddy Lower. 
Ru Rudy Lower, even. I've read that wrong. I'm just going to auto resolve it. He would die anyway. And get some more food. The food is worth it. The food is always worth it. Always get food when you can because food is life. Another man thing slave and a mechanic. Uh, yeah, then move ring rent over here. Storm Demon and Hippie Claw move in as well. Now, a, a technique you can do with rebellions is fight them once, then fight them again. But I'm afraid I don't have enough range to reach to attack them the second time, so I'm just Which gonna kill them here. Hmm? Give the extra melee attack to the Doom Flayers, they're the only I actually want to. Um, have to worry about Eat melee attack. And enslave more again, more food. Now, now. Mm. A clan scryer saboteur that only, yeah, only unfortunately works with um, assassins or master assassins, so that's not something we can equip, I don't believe. Yeah, we can't equip that. But I do want to get the last of ancient cunning. And I'm going to put him in the ambush stance. Oh, I can't get him close enough. I need to move a little bit closer, Ikit. I think that's close enough. Oh, no, you can't do it. Okay, no matter. It don't matter then. Get me more scaven slaves, please. And then, we need to make another Doom Rocket, because we have a lot of warp fuel, but no Doom Rockets, and we need Doom Rockets. What else can we get? I don't want to waste too much food. Look, okay, I'm going to get the um, extra starting amount for Winter Magic, the Warp Power Plants. And leave Tabaro alone for a bit, should be fine. There shouldn't be any other armies coming for a while. I believe that's the only one. But look at the balance of power compared to Astalia. Yep, that's their only army. That's their only army left. The name. More warpstone. Even more movement range and ballistics collaborator. Cal uh, calibration. Collaborator. No then with you. Let's start going down inspiring presence. Next technology, always more besides. And it's going to be another four turns before we get a revolt in Scaping Blight, which will go down to three turns, because that public order is being currently buffed by an event, the event of the Dominating Scheme, and the Military Crackdown. So that will, that will not last long. It's going to take less than a turn. Master Engineer. Let's see if Leonardo um, Catarazza makes his way towards us or not. Is he a foolish enough man that he thinks he is worthy of our time? If so, we go out of mo um, Force March stance. Because otherwise, it's not really a challenge, is it? And another thing about the Skaven is, as I've already mentioned, they have their own corruption. That corruption allows you to make, get a new power unlocked called the Menace Below, which allows you to summon clan rats on the field wherever you want. And that mixed with the warp bomb is a very dangerous combination for any enemy. Okay, well they brought up a second army, have they? Very well. Even more test subjects. I'm going to use the scheme of doom to make our special doom engineer, Morphin Rot. I'm going to have him make his way to outdoor. Because Aldorf is a very big centre of um, economy. Apparently it's easier to go that way than, you're, than um, through that way. Okay. I need, I need Ikit to get more uh, punishment, so... I'll move him closer there. And hide over here. Okay, they built a second I army, refuse. that's a bit of a problem. To borrow, we're going to soon get the walls, so they're going to be very dangerous to I'll attack. Ignore that. 
Okay then. Leonardo Catraza. Are you going to come for us or are you too afraid of the things that lurk below? I think, I think it's safe to say after this battle with um, the Telian armies, if they do actually intend to attack us, that then will call it a day. That's basically... Oh no, they've retreated. Cowards, you have no right to call yourselves men of the Empire. Honestly, fair, I can't really say that. I'm not an honourable person. I'm a scaven. Yes, yes. Make, make treaty part of pact. No fur. Cool. Oh. Got ourselves a breeder. More growth. Hee 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 hee. Stick of a betrayal strong. Conspire! Uh, let's give him light soon to level up. That's the next 150. It's not even bad, but I don't want to make. Uh, to borrow a place of economic. Power because I am about to do something that might seem very crazy to some of you. I'm going to start raiding it. You may be thinking, why, why, why are you going to raid her in region? That makes no sense. Well, because we need food, and as you can see, our food storages are currently being depleted at an increased rate. I can't have that. We need plenty of carbon of slaves. If we don't have enough food, then the slaves will go hungry as well and start eating someone of higher power. Not that not, not that li will literally happen, but still. People people won't the people won't be happy. We need food for people to eat. Otherwise when it comes to colonizing a new settlement, when we, we use all our food to build up the settlement to a higher level. Oh, the people will be eating each other. Oh, the beastmen have come back. Are they going to raid Magritta? Or are they just going to stand there all pretty like? And their armies, I'm guessing Estalia, do um, yeah, Estalia doesn't know what to do to fight them. So they're coming for me again. Okay. I'll, I'll play your little game. Where's the rebellion escaping blight? Up there. Okay, I definitely want to be building Scaling the construction cavern. So it means we start getting clay claw catapults. We can't get the pox cauldron as well, unfortunately. Small brain rats or anything else for that matter. We just don't have enough money. The next turn. Estalia is, well, Tabaro is going to be getting a very important building. So I think we can last a turn. Now, in the corner where they are at currently, they're going to die instantly after we attack them. They won't retreat. So, another auto is always in order. No point in going through a battle that's going to be easy to win and then not have anything to do afterwards. So I think I'm going to start... Um, oh, with the portents of Verminous Doom. The enemies lose leadership. Yes, yes, I like. Oh, we could go down this path. Have more Warlock Engineers. More chance of warp fuel. This isn't really good. And that's not really good either. How close are we to a Doom Wheel? Five more levels away... I kind of want to get this unlimited power, which is an arcane conduit, which means you can get more um, wins of magic quicker. But it's a big increase um, from a normal arcane conduit. But it has a chance of blowing up on you, which means it does damage to you. So we're going to get we're first going to upgrade warp lightning to as uh, far a level as we can, so it's cheaper. This rat is no fool. So the cheaper it is, the better. We're going to also get doom rockets. Where's my my doom rocket? And yeah, we will, we will get the pox cauldron because having another hero as well is really good. Having more heroes is good. All we need is more heroes, and we win. 
engineer of Scry. Start raiding to Boris. So we are losing money. We are losing a good amount of money. But we are also making the Tabaro uh, rebel faster, which is good, which means we get more rebellions, which is more um, experience, which is more power, and more food. And also, another thing to note is, you do eventually have a food capacity, a food cap. You can't get unlimited food. You can only have as much food as you have settlements and technologies that increase your capacity. And the more food you have, the more you can spend it on getting um, upgraded settlements. Right now, let's have this engineer. Let's focus on the engineer right there. So this is a this, so this engineer um, has two different powers. He can cause an earthquake, which used to be his only thing he could do. Which um, all 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 that does is raise an um, an enemy region's or en uh, any any factions region to one lower than it is currently it isn't that good the next thing can do though is raise an undercity and undercities are a very good a very fun mechanic wherein you can um, get upgrades for your um, you can get you, you can purchase upgrades where you can get um, Come on, why didn't that work? I checked the range. It was said 26. Bigger warp forges. Okay. Okay. Sit and scaven blight. And ambush and see if Leonardo is stupid enough to move any further forward. Is there any reason to get this increased? Extra 40. Mm. I mean, for 670. 696 is not that bad. Technology though, numbers beyond counting. Making Scaven Slaves better is something you should not underestimate. It is good. It is important to consider that. I want to save up so I can get the Arcane Generators. Because an extra 30% income for more buildings in the region is pretty good. Especially when it's currently only 948. Which will only get bigger by the way. Because all Scaven buildings produce money in some way or another. Well, almost all. There's like one or two that don't. But even the walls give you money. And that's why a region like Tabara was really good. Okay. Miragliano. You've got yourself an army in there. Telia, are you actually going to attack us this time? Or are you just going to sit back on the sidelines and not do anything? If you're just going to sit there, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you out. Oh, Tabara's raiding us. Um... Stalia is raiding to borrow. And yep, they're too cowardly to come to us, so they're just going to have to stay there. Then I'm no longer bothered and no longer interested in them. They waste my time. So what's next? We're not upgrading the tractor beam, unfortunately. But we are soon to get our awesome of magic. That's not good. Almost. Oh, two rebellions at the same time. Very good. Rat. We destroy one rebellion, then we destroy the other. Best inventor. <laughs> yeah, next turn we can get ourselves some play claw catapults for Ickit Claw's army. Get rid of a few More of the stolen. Skaven no, slaves. No. And then we can make our way to Magritta. By Sigma, no. So, what else? No, save, save up all the money we have. We need to save up. Magics. In fact, should we build... Yeah, let's build the Under Empire in Marienburg. That's, that's, that's my decision. Two rebellions, don't really care. We can destroy them both with ease. And they can't attack us immediately either. Oh, it's a Chaos Invasion. Oh. Me likey. I prefer Skaven invasions because at least with them I can um, potentially steal play claw catapults from their ranks if they get them. It's not always a guaranteed thing, but it is possible. Oh, 
there we go. TV is finally making an actual play. It's about time you showed some balls. I'm afraid it's too late. You don't stand a chance now. Ooh, what's this all about? When rats fly, your lord reports interesting news. A subsection of Clan Scry has been experimenting with boots that could potentially make the wearer fly. However, a major setback has frustrated the work, uh, the research project. Perhaps the inventors could be persuaded to work for you instead. Invest in the project, a risky proposition for one with big considerable potential. Send the appropriate payment bribes. Gives us rocket boots, which gives us foe seeker, cooldown on foe seeker, and a little bit of extra armor and such. Or kill them all. Such an invention will fail, but if it does, it could threaten us. Have the Lord dispose dispatch of this group at once now. Yep. Why? Why have um, potential en make potential enemies? We can just kill them all. Who knows who his boss is. So you, you've got two new levels. Good. Do I, is, there, is there anything that gives upgrades to? Oh, no, that'd be stupid. If they gave up, if they had a, a thing that gave upgrades to. Um, Gave them slaves and they, they would make it too easy. Um, let's just get all grace to warp lightning. Make it more useful to use warp lightning as well. Now then, do you have any play core catapults? You do not. And that army is weak too. Only if you have ambushed them both and they die. Warp power! Warp power! And again, you could fight these all manually once and then attack again. But firstly, we're, um, in a, we're running out of time to destroy all these foes. And there's a lot of them. And I want to make sure I have enough movement to move back into Skaven Blight to get some Clay Claw Catapults. So we're just going to have to live with um, some setbacks for now. We're still far stronger than anyone else, though. I could even move over to uh, Miragliano if I wanted to and take that instead. Because there's no chance they're going to take Tabaro now. Tabaro is too well defended. I made sure of that. But yep, look at all that money we've now got from fighting two rebellions and killing them both. Now let's redistribute our items. Let's give the Warpstone tokens to our Warlock Master. Move Ike back into here. Go, go, go. So let's keep Garre back in here in ambush stance. Oh, now we can get a total of five play claw catapults. I will get all five. Yes, they're expensive, but they're worth it. Play claw catapults are some of the best siege equipment for the Skaven. In fact, no, they are the best siege equipment for the Skaven. It's not, it's just not, they're just not the no best. Equipment. Don't want the 13th scheme yet. That's for late. That will be safe for later. Now, Ikit, get Warp Lightning and an Inspiring Presence. I want to also I want to go down Engineering Skill. So, Warp Lightning Cannons and Play Core Catapults. Well, most importantly, Play Core Catapults have extra ammo. And then finally, Blast Master for the Weapons Team ammo. The Jezels with almost endless ammo is good. And range. The range from the Warlock Engineers is good too. And in fact, I should be getting ourselves. A, I should have gotten myself a plague priest last turn. Engineer of Scryer. If there was available in that last turn, I don't think it was. Either way, let's have a look at what we have. We have a fleet footed. That's really good. Speed is really good. But to be fair, with plague monks or just heroes in general with Skaven, you want either fast traits or cunning or knowledgeable if you find knowledgeable. Which is the way you normally want to do for lords. Oh, speaking of knowledgeable. Let's recruit this grace here. Because this isn't technically a cheese. It's not a bug. It's what happens. You can increase power reserves of all armies faction-wide when you get a knowledgeable lord. So I paid the money for him. He's gone. But his trait remains. Got plus five from characters. Noting that Ikka gives no bonus um, wins of magic from anything else. That extra five is specific to um, that uh, Gracie that we just um, recruited and disbanded. 
And now let's get that Plague Priest with the, the Fleet Feet. What? This Plague Lord Witch. And then we shall worry about that later. Still making good money, which is boy a good thing. Let's move out. And now that Tedian army, if it attacks us, will be the end of this um, video. If not, I will besiege the city of Magritta and then we'll call it an end to the day. I won't actually do the siege. I'll just lay siege to the settlement. But we're about to find out what that's going to be right now. Oh. Detect Another war. Yeah, something to learn about Pan, Pan Squire is you are a single entity surrounded by enemies. So you could find this to be an actual, actually a dangerous campaign to play. But if you start small and stay small for a long time, you will not lose. Overrun them! Here we go then, an ambush. Let me first spot your ambush. Attack now and the element of surprise will give you the upper hand. We have a doom rocket, remember? No, granted, this army currently is weak. When joined with Ikit Claw, we stand a chance. That is a lot of crossbows. I'm actually a little bit afraid. We might actually be better just throwing everything into those crossbows. To battle. Yes, it means that we're um, cutting off our best units from joining in. But right now. What we should do against an army like this is not let them set up. Don't give them the don't give them an, 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 a, a chance to engage. They must engage on our terms. And because I believe um, Garu Ring Wrench was in um, Tabaro, means we also have the warp bomb, which we could use to explode some of our um, Skaven to kill off even more troops. Which is always a nice thing to have. But yeah, those crossbones are our main targets. Surround them with the Skaven slaves and pray they live long enough before they die. We need Ikit to arrive as soon as possible. And hopefully, he won't be too far away. The worst thing can happen is that Garrow loses his life. Skaven slaves are irrelevant. They die, they die. I bring them back, they're cheap, it doesn't matter. And that's the mentality you need to have with these kinds of units. Especially in Warhammer, because all your units replenish automatically. You don't need to um, go, go back to a, a place of recruitment like you do in Medieval 2 and then retrain them. Okay, oh, he's far away. But we, we are actually going to be facing the, the right direction before they arrive. So I'm just going to have the Skaven Slaves act as bait. We do have our warp bomb. We don't have any menace below. So the Skaven Saves is going to have to act as shields and eventually get blown up. Going to keep Gara further back. And then we shall join with the, he shall join with the rest of the army. Kill them. Kill them all. All the vermin tied. Keep them away. While the army joins up with us. Quick, fast! Yes, ma. What? What? Rest is giving slaves up. Quick, quick! Oh, yeah, we're getting a bit of lag now. That's why when you run entire armies of Skaven Slaves, you will get lag. Look at that crossbowman completely locked in. Poor leadership. And look at that clump. I think it's time. I think it's time for a Doom Rocket. It's time. Here we go. Oh, you can feel the impact. Look how many just died. 
Look at how many bodies are now littering the ground. Beautiful. Let's get back to the rest of the army. New Skaven slaves move up. Jezial's and Rattling Gun stick behind. You go up there. Oh, look at all those units routing. And this is the from Skaven slaves, by the way. We haven't even brought in the main army yet. We've yet to bring in the main army. Here's some Skaven slaves away, and let's throw out a, 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 I was say a loot bomb. A warp bomb. It seems to be used on a unit that has less than 50% health remaining. I don't want to use it in an area where there's no real use for it. At least not yet. Game slaves chasing down units. Good. Yeah, let's not worry about the warp bomb this time then. Let's just charge in. Jezels and rattling guns shoot down the pistoliers so they're getting on my nerves. CC, they run. Oh, let's look. some of them are starting to rally that have some numbers left in them, some strength. We brave my team. In fact, let's do it. Kamikaze. Look at that. Look at the damage as well. Yeah, we killed a lot of Skaven, but they're rats. They're vermin. Why should, why should I care when they die? They will be replaced. And that is always meant to be the mentality of the Skaven. What dies can be replaced. Can always be replaced. Warlock Master! Okay, let's move our lords and hero yeah, in. Warlock! Warlock of Slave and Blood. What, what orders? Chase after those crossbowmen, my Doom players. Bring them down. Yes. My scab those Skaven Slaves won't last forever, unfortunately. Another look. Against hordes of Skaven. As you can see, their backs have been whipped and flayed, wearing chains and collars. You can tell they truly are the slaves of the most um, unruly race. And that little aura there tells me that they're about to start running away. Some warp lightning. More warp lightning. I thought I'd warp lightning tonight. Come on, Jezels and rattling, rattling guns, get some kills in already. They keep chasing those crossbows. Eventually, they'll get the army loss penalty. Which is when the entire army decides, okay, we're not winning this. We're, we're low in numbers, low in ammo, low in magic, etc, etc. We're going to lose. Let's, let, let's live to fight another day. Even when they don't get to live to fight another day. Which I think is happening right now, yep. And you can see the little scores above their heads. They're running in terror. They have no other ch chance of survival. And that's the end of that. And a very good battle indeed. Again, without the Doom Rocket, we would have a bit of a tough time. But look at that. Heroic victory. Revel in your might and bask in fleeting glory. The enemy will remember this defeat. Scorched in their, into their ra uh, uh, racial memory till the end times and beyond. And that is how you make an end to a video. We lost 1,272 slaves. Which is the same as saying we lost 1,272 orcs to an army of elves. And they lost 1,362 because our superior damage dealing units did the job they needed to. And that's what you always need to remember in Total War. Your best units are the units that deal the, da deal the most damage.
Yes, they can be tough to kill, but if they don't deal any damage, then eventually they will die. Because the things that will that do damage against them will eventually kill them. So let's have a look at that victory screen once again. And we'll call it a day for that. Ooh. Oh, that was good. That was good. And that's, that's another thing I like about Total Warhammer. The, cin the cinematic screen and using things like the Doom Rocket are just some of the nicest things you can do in Total Warhammer. Just have entire armies bunched up together and just watch them all die. And, the, and as the smoke clears, the lag is gone. <laughs> oh, yes. And look at the kills that, that their lord got. Those were all Skaven slaves they killed. No unit of value, just Skaven Slaves. Very good. Very, very, very good. I'm very pleased with how this battle turned out. Doesn't make the end screen come any faster. If I'm to make this a... Um, a full, if I'm going to make fully fledged campaigns on this, I'm probably going to get cut out these end turn screens because they just take so long... And I run out of things to say, it gets so boring. And it's getting really warm in here. Oh, God. Which is what I get for doing it on a Saturday afternoon. Unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice in that matter. Come on, end screen, you can do it. Finish. Give me a good ending. Beautiful. You're a beautiful general, Garim. Garo Ring Wrench. I hope we I hope we can continue to have many adventures together. I hope we can have many, many fun adventures together. There we go. Heroic victory. Too many slaves to feed. I need some money now. We've got plenty of food, we just want money. But again, that will only be important if we continue this campaign. But until then, just wait till this end screen, ha this um, turn sliding screen is done. And then we'll call it an end to today. I'm going to take a bit of a relaxing half rest of the day off, I think. Already uh, made all the videos for today. I might make one more, might not. Depends if I'm up for it. But yeah, also also another fun thing: regiments of renown. Just it, it just gives you some more unit, some more units to um, eventually throw away into something that you need later on in the game. But anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this. I know I have. I've had a very fun time doing this uh, campaign. At, um, up to its current entirety and I hope I can continue to do it so let's just do this so it saves at the right moment so hope you've all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time ta-ta for now Not...